Uh, good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you so much. I always uh, express the importance, okay, of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep me in the algorithm. Also, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and share the video. I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you so much. As I work so hard to bring you all good content and honest content, you all know, as I get information that I can release about certain situations, especially as it relates to the topic and the subject that I'm getting ready to talk about now, which is the Young Dolls case, I am definitely going to do that, okay? I am definitely going to do that, okay? This morning, I wanted to uh, talk about, as you guys are hitting that like button, also, if you would like to donate to the channel, you could definitely donate to the channel. So I got to get out in a few, but I definitely wanted to do a video right quick on uh, Straight Drop. Uh, Straight Drop was the fall guy. I think, you know, quite a bit in the past, I've, I've, I've just flat out said, I've thrown out hints and I flat out said, uh, talked about Straight Drop, Okay. And a lot of people have said to me, well, Miss T, why, why do you feel that about Straight Drop? Do you not believe that Straight Drop had anything to uh, do with Young Dolph's murder? And I absolutely believe that Straight Drop had everything to do with Young Dolph's murder, right? And I started to go back and look at some archives and things of that nature uh, of uh, Straight Drop, um, when Straight Drop and Cornelius was first arrested, Okay. I started to go back and 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 try to pull a, a video and things of that nature. All you know, video that they you know that I still have up, and um, and and other video. And we remember in the beginning, Straight Drop uh, attorney Art Horn <clears throat> has said that he um, he he was going to. I thought I'd heard him say that he was going to um, represent Stray Drop. And I'm trying to find that. Okay? Represents Justin Smith. Justin Johnson. I don't know why I said Smith. Justin Johnson. Okay? Okay? And then later on, after that, he went on to deny... Uh, representing a uh, straight drop. Okay. He went on to say, this is where Art, Art Horn had released a statement saying, after a, a few recent articles receiving numerous phone calls, text messages from friends and colleagues, it has come to my attention that my name and my law firm have been associated with an individual who recently, who was recently arrested for the murder of Adolf Thor Jr., also known as Young Doc. This information that relates to my representation involving anyone in charge in the murder of Young Doc. <laughs> uh, he's emphasized, at no time have I now or ever retained been retained to represent any of the individuals arrested for the murder of young dog. Now, you know, that, you know, we know it's how attorneys do it. They, they lies. Okay. We, they, that's how they do it. Um, and it would be easy for him to say he was not officially, cause you know, they play with words a lot. He was not officially retained, especially if then no money hit his hand. Right. So he could play with that. All right. So then Later on, let's see. That, okay, so let me see when that article, when uh, Art Horn dropped that statement. Okay, now we know that Justin Pierre uh, knows Art Horn and them personally, right? So then Justin Pierre uh, went on to uh, do an article, an article, and as a matter of fact, Justin on January 13, 2022. Um, uh, Justin Pierre didn't say that Art Horn, okay, uh, said that he dropped him. Art Horn said in a statement that he had never represented him. That's the statement that Art Horn made. He said he has never represented, 
of anybody as it relates to um that was involved in the murder of young dogs case right okay but i'm trying to pull up hold on one second i got so many I got so many tabs open, y'all, because it's a lot. It's some information I want to show you guys. Okay. Um, where Jeremy Pierre, because I want y'all to see this. It that's if I could pull it. Okay. This might be it right here. I don't think it is. I might just have to read it. Because y'all know how I get when I'm trying to find stuff. It's there. But I'm clicking on the wrong tab. Okay. I'm going to have to close some of these tabs. Y'all just give me one second. Just give me one, one little second. Because I, I want to show you all this. I, I, I like to show you all proof of what I'm talking about. Um, oh, it's not showing up over here. Um, it's, it's just, it's not showing up over here on this end. But I can read it. Okay. Okay, here it is right here. Now, Jeremy Pierre turned around and said he spoke with Art Horn, okay? And Art Horn, he says, new information. Straight drop, Justin uh, Johnson needs a new lawyer. Art Horn just told me drop got drop. Okay? Horn confirmed he is not representing anyone associated with the Young Dogs case now. If he was, if he had never retained him, how could he drop him? If he never retained him, how could he drop somebody that had, if that he was never going to represent? I think at that point, you know, there were alleged, you know, tweets. A lot of people try to say that they were um, photoshopped that God had put out all over the internet um, as if he was supporting straight drop. My nigga go to jail. I'm going to get him out, blah, blah, blah. People argue that that was Photoshop. You know, I don't know. I saw them. It didn't look Photoshop to me. Okay. But that was all over the internet. But it does appear to me because Yo Gotti was posting tweets and deleting them. That Yo Gotti was just too involved not to be involved. Right. This is a young man that had been uh, accused of killing young Dolph. Right but you immediately jump in and start backing him you know shortly after that young uh yo Gotti, i would see on instagram he would post we the last one standing we the last one standing constantly posting we the last one standing you know as if that was a subliminal okay and so art horn you know they they gave straight drop the illusion because if i'm not mistaken i can specifically remember art horn being on the news saying that my client is going to turn himself in Monday. Maybe I'm delusional, but doggone it, I just thought I saw it. It's a other, couple other folks say they saw it too, but you know, sometimes you think you see stuff, I guess, and you don't see it, okay? But I thought for sure that's what they did. When Stray Drop first went in court, it Stray Drop had this arrogance about himself. It was as if, because he even posted on his Instagram, I'm turning myself in and I'm going to be right back out. They it it kind of coincided with what allegedly Gotti the fake tweets that Gotti claimed that he was putting up. They the fake tweets that people claimed that was not Gotti's right. What what Stray Drop was posting uh, on his Instagram when he was on the run kind of coincided with that. He had a false sense of security. Being twenty three years old, it was easy for him to think. Okay, it was easy for him to double for them to double cross him, right? Okay, so anyways, we straight drop didn't time went on and time went on, and you know, straight drop did not have an attorney. 
So we saw Cornelia Smith, hold on, around the beginning of February. I'm trying to pull, I got so many tabs open, y'all. Um, um, Cornelia Smith, okay, around, around the beginning of February. February the 11th, <clears throat> Cornelius walks into court, okay, with the lawyer. That's what he did, y'all. He walked in with a lawyer. They wanted to take care of Cornelius uh, fairly early on, and that's what they did. Okay. Let me see if this is it. I might have to X out of that. Hold on, let me close some of these tabs because it, it's some stuff I want to show y'all. I just got too many tabs open. Um, oh Lord, I made a mistake and 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 closed it out. Okay, but February the eleventh. Okay, um, Cornelia Smith walks into court with um an attorney and what i was what before i clicked out of it because i'm moving too fast um gagouli was still sitting in the back of the court straight drop was still waiting for them to get him an attorney so gangouli if when that that picture i was getting ready to show you guys that i made a mistake and clicked out of gangouli was still sitting in the back of the court okay and because straight drop still thought that somebody was going to get him an attorney as they had gotten uh cornelia smith an attorney but that did not happen so cornelius has this high profile attorney because michael michael shows is high profile i've said that from the very beginning that michael shows is is a high profile attorney everybody around memphis knows that right that michael shows is high profile and I used to always say when people kind of gazed over that, I said, y'all tend to forget Cornelius has a very high profile attorney that has also represented celebrities. That is how high profile he is. OK, he has his firm has represented celebrities. OK, how did he get that money? But people kind of wanted to gaze over that. You know, I don't know if it was if it was because you know Cornelius them had scrub. Cornelius was smart enough not to put a whole lot of stuff on the internet. He wasn't flashing. Most burglars and robbers don't, right? And they just kind of, you know, I'm sure they probably even if he had had some stuff on the internet, I'm sure that he was smart enough to to uh to take it off, especially leading up to the death of Young Dog. OK, so then people started talking about, you know, Little Migos, the rapper Little Migos was putting into the atmosphere that Cornelius was related to him. I, I don't I don't. Well, I know they're not brothers. OK. Right. And um, and stuff like that. So they get him an attorney early on and straight drop still did not have an attorney when uh, Gangu uh, when um, shows was. um was retained by what by cornelius you know a lot of people tried to put into the atmosphere where cornelius sister is a is a shell okay because he's had get because you know i'm sure that retainer they've had to repay that retainers fee that is not cheap i'm hearing that these these lawyers are are starting at at least about 30 or 35 thousand as it relates to uh a young dog and the cheapest high profile attorney starts uh, gonna uh as i said in a video before they're gonna deduct about 750 an hour because uh who is that that has an attorney um i believe that was jamarcus johnson uh that his attorney uh his he's he is he's at 750 dollars an hour remember i did a, a video on that okay uh, he charges about seven hundred and fifty dollars an hour against that retainer's fee. Schultz and them are high, way more high profile, um, and their case, uh, their charges are way more serious than Jamarcus. Can you imagine how much shows is is uh, deducting from that retainer's fee? 
that you know if he's had him for over a year he's had to pay probably about four or five retainers fees you're talking about maybe about thirty thirty five thousand dollars or more that's a lot of damn money where is he getting it from a lot of people have allowed that to go right up over their heads when i told y'all in the beginning to pay attention to that when people were sitting up talking about that cornelius was gonna get out on bond cornelius did not do this i told y'all from the start cornelius had his ass right out there um on that cookie shop lot when young doc was uh, assassinated with straight drop right so even when cornelius got him a lawyer okay straight drop ganguly was sitting in the back of the court so i think straight drop was waiting to see if they was gonna come through he still had faith in these people because he was the top hitter <laughs> and they did not get him an attorney and you, his his eyebrows have not relaxed since then and ganguly is not a bad attorney he's actually a good attorney he was cheryl rice attorney and we know damn well cheryl rice should have got life but Ganguly is one of those attorneys, as I had always said in the beginning, I said, he's good with getting you with plea deals. If you plead out, he knows how to get you uh, less time than anybody else. But I, I, I think when it was in the atmosphere that, you know, um, as I said last year, I had heard probably around May or something like that. It was in the atmosphere that somebody was going to plead out. Um, I, I think Ganguly was... You know, with straight drop not having an attorney, them changing their phone numbers, a lot of people. It was just a lot of stuff in the atmosphere. I think he was he was thinking about it. I think Ganguly had him on the right track. And then when people started getting frequent visitations from the angels, okay, you know, the people I love so much, okay, um, the alphabet people, okay, when they started getting frequent visitations from them, somebody had an epiphany and said, you know what? We might need to go ahead and get straight drop a lawyer, okay? We might need to go on and get straight drop a lawyer. And so, like, shortly after that, we, you know, we saw Ganguly. I think Ganguly had straight drop on the on the right track because I'm going to tell you something. Ain't nobody going to get out of this. With over 200,000 pages, Ganguly is just uh, logical, okay? This other attorney has money to make. And now that people are desperate, I can't be mad at that damn man. He going to get that money. He going to get it. These folks are going to pay him. And he going to try to play dirty. They going to pull Judge o Co po po poor old Judge Coffee. He got to act like he doing something for all that money they paying him. And, and what's going to happen is straight drop still ain't going to get out. Right? But with straight drop, the foul person, yes, they was intended to double cross him. They did double cross him. And I think at some point, Straight Drop, with the help of Ganguly, had an epiphany. And then when people started getting visitations free on a frequent basis from the alphabet people, uh, they had to regroup. Okay? Why would somebody keep their mouth closed if you ain't taking care of them? You ain't doing right by them. Okay? It was there um it was it it was the, in their plans from the very start because they talking about he's a hitter he's this he's that for them to put that monkey on their boy back just like they did and which he deserved it because i'm talking about he deserves to uh go to jail for what he did to young dog but he don't deserve to take it by himself it was other people that was involved so they double cross straight drop and like he gonna take that he gonna take that he ain't gonna say nothing because he already did a whole lot of other dirt he can't take that chance okay so they thought he was just gonna lay down and take that they put they was intended for him to to put all of that on his back while they get cornelius the best attorneys because they know cornelius has a talk because cornelius a little older he was 32 years old at the time and he had a history of talking okay so they immediately because you know he got some favor with somebody in that camp okay they immediately get him an attorney and has been paying for the attorney from day one okay and they was intended for straight drop to take the fall they thought that it was going to stop at that point but how many people know you have to read what you saw it just it wasn't going to work out like that rather straight drop had said something or said nothing it was not going to work out like that but the whole time 
they was intending for straight drop to take the fall by himself and take one for the team. And it ain't worked out like that because it can't work out like that. Okay. Because the laws of the earth, as I just said, is you have to reap what you sow, whatever you, whatever seed you sow, that's the seed that's going to grow. Okay. So we saw all the games that the attorneys try, you know, the attorneys tried, they tried to play with their attorneys. I, I, th I feel like, yes, that, it you know, they had told, um, I feel like somebody told Straight Drop, whether it was Art Horn or not, that Art Horn was going to represent him, okay? And then when they stripped that away from him for no reason at all, it was because he never intended to. And then I believe he had an epiphany. I think Art Horn going to get to represent somebody. It just ain't going to be Straight Drop. He needs to keep himself free, although he can represent multiple people. But I, in, in my opinion, I, I think, you know, at some point they got together and they decided that they was going to double cross him and they were going to tell him, we're going to go ahead and put your music out, going to try to tell him some lies. And they thought that he, because they might look at him as just a crash dummy that has, you know, mental illnesses. They thought he was going to take that land down. Okay. And then they saw that somebody started talking. They don't, they don't know where it's coming from. They don't know. All right. But all they know is that whatever, you know, their plan has backfired on them. Right. So this, what, what straight dropped the, what straight dropped the fall guy. Yes. He was the fall guy as it relates to what went on because they wanted him to put that monkey on his back and take it all by himself. They never intended to take care of him. Okay, but this was straight drop involved in the murder of young Dolph. Hell yeah, he was. He was right out there. Okay, he was right out there. Okay, all right. But, anyways, you guys, I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you would like to donate to the channel, you can definitely donate to the channel uh, via Cash App. Okay. You can donate to the channel via cash app, but make sure you hit the subscription button and make sure you hit the like button. Okay. Uh, I'll talk with you guys later.